Hi guys, I'm John Bro, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox 64. I know the last time that we saw this game on my channel was a year and a half ago, because that's when the finale was. And until earlier this week, I had not played it since then, so that's something special. And then over the course of about two days, I managed to get all the medals in expert mode, so I figured what better time than now to show off the things in the game that I didn't, I didn't really show before. So one of those things is the intro to the game. I can't believe I never showed that off, but I kind of did my own thing. So here we go, here it is, in its raw, purest form. Corneria, fourth planet of the Lilat system. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet, Venom. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McLeod, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Peppy were captured by Andros. Peppy barely escaped Venom and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. A few years have passed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. Oh, yes. I really enjoy that intro. Morgan Freeman has got nothing on that guy, whoever the narrator is. Although I don't understand what's happening in that second picture in the intro with, uh, with General Pepper, like, looming over Andros. Because Andros is so small in that picture. What is even going on? He's not that small. But anyways, as you can see, I got all the expert mode medals, which surprised me. And I think part of the reason for that is that in expert mode, and I'm only going to show off a little bit of it because it's not all that different from the normal mode, but expert mode, there are a few more enemies in every stage, or at least most stages, so it's a little more likely that you're going to be able to get your requirement for the medal because there are a few more enemies and you can get a few more hits. Another amazing difference, Fox has sunglasses, just like his father did in the ending of the Hard Venom Path, which is super awesome. I thought at first that... oh, is it... yeah, I think he even... yeah, he has sunglasses even in his little model. That's... that's great. I thought at first that they just used the same profile image with the sunglasses that his father had in the ending, but no, they're definitely different profile images, so that's really cool. They weren't being lazy with it. So as Peppy would say, you're becoming more like your father. Except by now, he pretty much is his father. He's the same person. Other differences include you lose more health whenever you get hit, and it is a lot easier to lose your wings. Pretty much if you hit anything, then you're going to lose one of your wings. So let's see if I... Did I lose a wing? Yeah, I lost a wing. I didn't even lose the right wing. I mean, I lost the right wing, but not the correct wing, because I hit the left wing on the... You know what I mean. But that's interesting. So, just lots of little things to make the game more difficult. But I think as a result, it kind of makes it easier to get all the medals in. And then also, a fun difference is that if you beat the game in easy or hard mode in Venom, then you get this fun little bonus picture. You get a bonus picture for easy mode or hard mode. They're a little bit different. I think the easy mode one's a little bit more rewarding, but all cool stuff. I enjoy it. Another fun bit of information that has to do with Expert Mode is that if you switch the main game option to Expert Mode and then go to the Training Area, then all of the same rules that apply to Expert Mode apply to the Training Area, so... Hitting your wings automatically breaks them, you lose more health, all that good stuff. It's a nice attention to detail. And this is information that I might have gotten wrong in the Let's Play, I can't exactly remember, but... In the normal game, if you get all the medals, then you unlock Expert Mode. Also in the normal game, if you get a medal just in Venom, then that's what unlocks the Landmaster multiplayer mode, which I showed off in the finale. Now in Expert Mode, whenever you get all of the medals, that unlocks a new title screen, which I'll show later, and unlocking a medal in Venom unlocks an on-foot mode in multiplayer. 
So I'm sort of trying to show off all the characters here. I'm not doing a great job. But one thing I didn't expect was the control scheme. You have to hold R to go forward, and you press Z to jump. And if you hold A, you don't have a charge shot, you just rapid fire. And all those things make sense. It just feels weird at first. So it's different. It's definitely different. And one thing that kind of bothers me is that whenever you're on foot, there's this one bomb in the air that you can't reach no matter how you jump at it. And I think that's just because bombs wouldn't make sense in on-foot mode, but it still bothers me. And last but not least, the barely any different but very hard to get title screen that defies all laws of nature. You can clearly see that Fox is behind the Star Fox title logo, and the 64 is in front of the Star Fox title logo, yet whenever you move the 64, it is behind Fox? How does that work? How can Fox be behind the Star Fox, be behind the 64, be behind the Fox? But if you ask me, the satisfaction of getting all the medals in the game is more than worth getting this kind of strange title logo. And I'm gonna stab Slippy again. I, I love you, Slippy. Okay, bye everyone. <laughs>